Welcome to Electro Online. Often the confusion in quantum mechanics comes in when you see an equation in a different format and you're not sure if it's a different equation or if it's the same equation. Case in point, when we're dealing with a quantum mechanic oscillator, sometimes the Schrodinger equation for the oscillator will be expressed in different forms. You often will find it like this, where it's written with the operator, minus h bar squared over 2m, m of course being the reduced mass if it's uh, an oscillator like a diatomic oscillator, and times the second derivative with respect to x of the wave function, plus 1 half kx squared, now this would be the potential energy uh, found in the oscillator as a function of position, multiplied times the wave function, equals the energy times the wave function. So what's the difference between these two expressions right here? Now this here is the maximum energy. The maximum energy obtained when you have the maximum amplitude. So that would be 1 half k times a squared, a being the maximum amplitude. This here is the potential energy as a function of position, where the position could be anywhere between 0 and the maximum amplitude. So here, what we can say is we can see that this can now be expressed like this. So we have the second derivative of the wave function squared equals minus alpha squared times the wave function. Now alpha squared is defined right here, where it's 2m over h bar squared times e minus v sub x. Now since e is always the maximum energy of the oscillator, and v is going to be the potential energy anywhere along the path of oscillation, this will always be equal to 0 or a number larger than 0 never smaller than zero. So this quantity is essentially always positive or zero. Now when we replace the alpha squared by what's equal to, we see this here. Now we multiply both sides by h bar squared over 2m to move this over to the left side. We still have the negative, we move that along. On the right side we still have e minus v times the wave function. And then we separate the two by taking the minus v times the wave function and move to the left side of the equal sign that becomes now a positive. And of course v of x, that's the potential energy of the oscillator as a function of x, which then would be 1 half kx squared, k sub s of course being the spring constant of the oscillator. Now all we can do at this point is take the 1 half kx squared and replace k by omega uh, m times omega squared to write it in this format. So you can see that this format right here is exactly the same as what we have up here, or if you want to replace k sub s by m omega squared, you can have the equation look like this. But notice, if you see something that looks like this versus something that looks like this, we're actually dealing with the very same equation, the Schrodinger equation of the quantum mechanic oscillator. They look very different, but they actually mean exactly the same thing. So now at least, you don't need to be confused about these different forms of the same equation.